world timer and odd color. <laughs> you can go Invicta. Wow. But that's a, that, that's it is 36 world. millimeters. It says world timer, world corner okay. cores. Wow. So Invicta making a dress oh, that a world millimeter time? with 100 meters of water resistance. Or it's more dual time than world time, but they call it. World yeah, time that counts. Water. Yeah. GMT, world time, dual time. That's that's okay. Yeah. They're, they're not all ugly. So the comments are coming. Totally, this is totally like the Hamilton interstellar homage. We've got, if you, we've got if you wanted to go real budget that way. Yeah. Yeah. People are not happy with Invictus. <laughs> <laughs> um, we wind up with a collection with a, a Swiss watch, a Japanese watch, and an Invicta. Okay. Hey. Okay. Um, I think we're, I think I'm back. Uh, if, if I can get some confirmation in the chat that you guys can see me. Oh boy. What just happened? Oh, okay. We're back. Camera looks like it's wigging out now. Wonderful. So in case anybody was wondering, um, my lovely daughter here pulled the plug on the router and, uh, we lost everything. Yeah. Nice vintage style. And now my camera's screwing up too. We're back for another episode of Collection Conundrum. And yeah, as you can see, we're maybe a little bit rusty here. Shane, welcome to the show. Alton, good to see you. Let me see if I can get rid of this baby and- uh, Hey, everyone. Hey, everybody. Yeah, we're working through the technical difficulties, but uh, we'll keep you distracted while we get through it. Uh, welcome back to the Collection Conundrum for a kind of a different episode than what we've normally done as we don't really have a guest. But instead we're yeah. gonna- uh, well, well we have Dave's people. daughter. Yeah, we that's Dave's daughter. <laughs> <laughs> She's adorable. It's hard to be mad at her, even though Dave's in sepia tones right now. Yeah, not sure what's up with that. But the plan here, at the very least, <laughs> is that uh, Jomo Shop gave us five hundred dollars to go shop online. So we're going to try to put together a three collection or three watch collection budget within about a thirty minute time frame, based on some parameters that we're going to talk about in a second if dave uh, gets up okay. and running <laughs> I think there he is. we are off to a rough so we got uh so we're what we're like 10, 10 minutes, minutes late now <laughs> and this is gonna be uh good hopefully we still have people watching uh so basic rules for this we're gonna try and make this interesting but we've got a couple of uh of fun stuff so first off we have a 500 hundred dollar budget we have to buy three watches. Uh, for one, we're going to be having uh, three kind of categories uh, that I'm going to have you guys vote on. So yeah, random modifiers that we have to uh, yeah, abide by as we're so, going through picking watches. Like, rather than us just picking exactly whatever we want, uh, we're going to, we're going to let you guys have an input here. Yeah. And we're going to try to do this so that we're not picking the normal watches we're gonna try to try to find some more interesting things because i mean you could easily pick like a three watch collection of just orient off joma shop so we're gonna try to do something maybe a little different than that but it's all going to depend on what we get for a random modifier not random but when you guys decide and also let me throw our first pull up here so the first uh thing i'm going to ask you guys so in this five watch collection we're going to pick one watch that has a complication on it we're going to let you guys choose the complication so let me put that poll in there right now so the options for the complication are going to be phonograph an open heart or a skeleton uh some kind of a dual time feature so gmt world time dual time any of those could be okay let's go let's go more interesting okay so rather than day date let's do uh moon phase or 24 hour or day night indicator um, but we'll kind of see how it goes okay so for the first poll it looks like we've got gmt world time uh was selected for that one let me mark that down. So GMT, world time, or dual time. Let me throw up another poll for you guys. Next category that we're going to do is, I, this is kind of a general category. This is just a, a type of watch. And we'll try and get things that are a little bit more interesting. So maybe things we might not necessarily automatically picked, um, but the options we have here are going to be uh, a digital or anti-digi, an aviation watch, a dress watch, or a solar-powered watch. So let me throw that poll up there and you guys can 
uh, do that. Um, all right, so it looks like we've got Aviation Watch is locked in as our second pick. So in this five watch collection, we're going to have a GMT watch, we're going to have an Aviation Watch, and then let's get our final category up there. So the last uh, last thing we're going to be asking you guys about. This is called the uh, the wild card section. So this is where we're going to have a little bit of fun for options. We've got 45 millimeter and above, so a big watch. 36 millimeter and under. Uh, and then this is for the dial, n n uh, a watch that does not have a black, blue, or white dial. And then the third wild card is going to be uh, no divers allowed. So that will be applied to the whole collection. We cannot pick a diver. All right, and I think with that, we've got our final one locked in. So it looks like the clear winner here is a dial that is not black, blue, or white. Okay, so those are our limitations. We have to get a GMT watch, we have to get an aviation watch, and we have to get something that is not black, blue, or white. Now, we can combine these on, on the same watch. Like, we could find a GMT aviation watch with a green dial, and that would be our one watch. It would meet all three criteria. We don't have to split this between all three watches. Um, but we do have to include all three of these in the collection. Mm -hmm. Put that up. Okay, so we've got our criteria locked in. We're going to have a 30-minute uh, we're going to have a 30-minute timeline or a time limit to do this. Uh, so, are, are Shane, Alton, are you guys ready? Yeah, so. That's your, your list of suggestions? Yeah. Ready right. and waiting. We're going to try and build this up. Okay. So, chat, uh, start your chronographs or timers in five, four, three, two, one. And then if you guys, some of you guys, as you're doing that, uh, let us know every, I don't know, every 10 minutes how much time we have left. Just pop that into the chat to keep us accountable. We've got 30 minutes now to build a three watch $500 collection. To start this off, uh, so we've been kind of scouring Joma Shop. Let's just, uh, let's let's each list one, maybe two watches that we found on the site that we think are really cool that would fit in the criteria that we got so far. Um, we'll start with you, Shane. Shane, what are two watches on Joma Shop that you found that you think would work good in this $500 collection? Well, you want something not blue, black, or white. Okay. How about the uh, red? I it's a nice Enox, red. Inox? Inox? Supposedly pretty tough quartz watches. That one's two fifty nine. Yeah, that would eat a good chunk of our budget right there. But those are cool watches. Okay, so yeah, that's that's one good one to look at. What else you got? Let's see if this works. Breen, two twelve Eco Drive. But this is, I think, one of the few Citizen Eco Drives that has Sapphire, at least lower price range okay. of Sapphire. Yeah, I, I like think. that uh, mm -hmm. that, day, that that day date display. Is that a green dial or? Yeah, it's green. Let's check and see. Uh, crystal, crystal, scratch resistant Sapphire. Yeah. Kind of cool looking casual watch. I remember seeing it when I was looking for something a long time ago and just happened to pop up again. Yeah, I like that citizen. That's pretty cool. Yeah. All right. That could be an option. All right. Uh Sh Alton. Uh why don't you I've got a couple of suggestions for you in the chat there? Okay, here's a here's a nice little orient. It's a quartz <laughs> watch, mineral crystal. And for 128 bucks, it's actually a little bit more expensive than some of their flight versions. You can get this cheaper. But I like the dial on it. I like the color. And it's not white, black, or whatever the requirements were. Not cream dial. So this so meets two, of them right there. two requirements mm -hmm. on this thing. And for 128 bucks, I bet you it's a, a really nice, accurate, good-looking watch. And it's a, got a chronograph function, too. So pretty cool. Okay. And this is a pretty cool little Seiko you found. So this is a cool watch that I actually would like to buy for myself. And I'll, <laughs> Might get I'll lucky tell you, well. okay, here's its functions. Perpetual calendar. Okay. Chronograph, yeah. alarm, leap year, month, date, day, GMT, second time zone, hour, minute, small second. It's got yeah. a lot going on in this thing. That'll, that'll give you absolutely everything. Let's yeah. It, it's yeah. a little complicated to actually work, but... It's pretty cool. I'm, I think it's a uh, hard lex. On hard, this one. Of course, hard lex. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which I find to be a step oh, up from Mineral. Here. Oh, really? Look, this is Sapphire? Sapphire. That's what they got the listing. That's well, then I'm buying it. Yeah, that's, 232 that's bucks. It. 
Okay, so some watches that I'm kind of interested in. Uh, uh, another Victorinox. So this is a Field Force GMT Quartz. Um, I just like the look. I think it's a really cool looking quartz. I've always been interested in checking out something from Victorinox. So Swiss mm -hmm. made. Um, this one's got sapphire. It's got 100 meters of water resistance. 42 millimeter, uh, 42 millimeter case. Uh, so this is a field watch and a GMT. Yeah, like I said, sapphire. I think it's 100 meters of water resistance. Looks like it's loomed. I like the GMT implementation. I like that little circle on the GMT hand that kind of uh, highlights whichever number mm -hmm. in that there. Um, so I like that one. $228. So bad. One of my favorite watches that I saw. There's no A in Victorinox. Victorinox. Okay. How do you guys, how would you guys pronounce Victorinox? Yeah, Victorinox. 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 All right. Sorry. I stand corrected. Thank you, Tank44. Uh, okay. So let's, uh, let's talk through this a little bit. We are about yeah. 10 minutes in. Got one, one more to show. Kind of futuristic looking. Seiko has a ton of great looking chronographs around 150 bucks, hmm. which you rarely see people posting on Instagram or whatever. And, and they just, I don't know why they don't sell as well, but they seem like great buys. Yeah. And that one, that's green dial. So that gives us something a little, little different in the color there. Or if you want cheap world timer. And odd color, <laughs> you can go Invicta. Wow, but that's a, that, that's it is 36 world. millimeters. It says world timer, world corner okay. quartz. Wow, so Invicta making a dress oh, that a world time? millimeter with 100 meters of water resistance, or it's more dual time than world time, but they call it world yeah, time that counts. Color. Yeah, GMT world time, dual time. That's that's okay. I don't know about that green second hand, that seems to clash, but yeah, if you want to talk about Invicta, so this is going the other way. This is another one I found. Massive. Someone was asking <laughs> about Invictus earlier, but um, yeah, they're, they're not all ugly. The so comments are coming. Totally, this is totally like the Hamilton Interstellar homage. Oh, okay, uh, but it's it's huge. They they went up size forty eight millimeters. Um, but yeah, they say they say pilots' watches used to be big, right? This is forty eight dollars mm -hmm. aviation watch. Um, if we get in a bind for budget and need to squeeze an aviation, oh, but it's out of stock now. Never mind. Oh, we used to have it. Yeah. Okay, just to throw stop. a wrinkle into it, you could probably throw a, most Casios G Shocks into the mix for our world time too. We've got, if you, we've got if you wanted to go real budget that way. Yeah, yeah. People are not happy with Invictus. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this. We've got a lot of options here. Let's find an aviation watch. Okay, yeah. chat, help me out. Aviation watches. Let's focus on that one first. Let's try and get that. So, so far, aviation watches that we've got. Uh, I like this Orient Flight is the best one I've seen so far. Yeah. Um, and that's actually cheaper behind. than the... There's also the automatic, I think, Cream Flight on there, yeah, too. Yeah, which I actually have that one from Joma Shop. Okay. I already got it from them. So, I would yeah. prefer to not do Correct. that one. I, ha I have that exact watch, which is another great one. Um, so yeah, the Orient Flight I think is one of the the best options there. Yeah. So there's an Alpina Star Timer in black, which is pretty cool looking. One fifty nine in stock. Sapphire crystal, hundred meters of water resistance. Yeah, Star That's Timer. Pretty good. I like it. That's yeah. pretty cool too. I mean, yeah. and I, I'm gonna I'm leaning towards this one again just because I've I've seen the Orient Flight. I love the Orient mm -hmm. Flight. But I've never checked out an Alpina. Um, for about the same price, you're getting sapphire crystal and a Swiss movement. I mean, that yeah. that does have to count yeah. for something. That's not good with that one. Kilometer. Okay. Unless you want to put it up to the chat. I'm I'm good with that one. You guys good with that one? 159 is right in the middle of our budget. Ships in one to three days. Herman. Okay, let's let's go ahead. <laughs> are are Invictus any good? Um, I, uh, I have not yeah, had absolutely any experience with Invicta. Um, complicated uh, sort yeah. of kind of you know they i i so that's one of the ones i'm cu i'm curious that they had Invi the invicta pro diver the vintage one uh yeah. gotten pretty they good have one on there that's, that's there's that's one high on my list of things to check out here yeah there is one on joma shop i think i found put, it was like a uh, batman into, one i hope this isn't showing any of my personal information here <laughs> all right it's in our cart or yeah, our it's just bag. showing the browser okay yeah no, no but, I mean, there are anywhere. a few Invictas that aren't bad. Like, I actually just pulled up the Batman. I think, I think it's the retro Pro Diver. Um, All right, guys. So we have locked in our first watch 
We're only we've we've, we've got like ten minutes left now, but we're getting we're going with the Alpina Star Timer Pilot, so that's going to fulfill our pilot's watch. Uh, we still need to find a GMT watch uh, and a watch that doesn't have blue or uh, black on it or white. Um, I think we should also try and get an automatic in here if we can as well. At least one automatic. I mean, it's and in this price range, I think quartz is one of the best ways to go. But it'd be fun to to get a, an automatic watch in here. While we're at it, let's just let's 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 see these pro divers. I'll throw those up if you guys. Uh, so we got that. Uh, maybe we'll try and knock out the uh, what's the other one? Uh, not black or blue or white. This one, right? Oh, uh, yep. Actually, that's a different one. I have a Pepsi one on on my screen right now. Okay. Yeah, they have a Pepsi the same thing. One. Same price, but they do they do they have one of these with a different color dial? They don't. They're all black uh, dial, right? Uh, that's that's a good question. Yeah, that would have been nice if we could have thrown in an automatic one of those. Okay, so they have a Batman. So they went with Batman, Pepsi, Coke. But yeah, these are all black dial. So if we do that, then that would really limit us with uh, having to get. Let's see. I feel like Alton sending me a message over here. Is that Alton? I am. I got a beautiful red dial for you. Fits okay. the bill perfectly. Okay. Okay. All right. Bam. Twenty nine ninety nine. I don't know if that's a. Bucks. Is that a dial? Actually, I, I don't have even a... know. <laughs> yeah. What the? Uh, <laughs> Good old yeah. Nixon. I had. I. You know. I don't mind Nixon for for fashion watches. And especially when you get them discounted, they're almost always 100 meters of water resistance. You know, the build quality is not bad. They look good. Here's another one. Uh, not uh, black, blue, or green, and it's super cheap. This is in their Time Teller series, um, which I don't know why they haven't sponsored Jory yet. I mean, talk about a tie in there. Green Dial Auto from Orient. Everyone's demanding Orient watches. Which, yeah, I mean, like, that's obviously the right choice in, in this sort of thing. Again, yeah. I think the, the only hesitation is... What about Swatch, uh, Dave? Swatch, is a, that's another interesting I one. Sent you, I mm. sent you a link. It's red okay. and pilot style. Okay. Yeah, so that is red. That is red. That is cheap. I don't know. Let's see what else Swatch. Swatch, Swatch is sure to have some interesting colors. I don't know. I say, like, I've always wanted to try a Swatch, but I've never found one that just really, I'm like, yeah, I really want to get that watch. <laughs> some of the, like, I like some of the uh, skeleton ones where it shows the quartz movement through. I think mm. those are cool. Here's a green dial one that I kind of liked. It's kind of a weird one, but 104 bucks. It's another quartz green dial, kind of aviation style, actually, but um, maybe a little bit field watch. Um, it's on the large side. So it's 42 millimeter dial. And it's uh, like all dial. So it's going to look and wear pretty big as what my main concern was. Um, but I like the style. I think it, I think it's kind of a cool looking one. Yeah. I think we need to focus. Absolutely. What I was saying is we should need to focus more on the GMT than the off color. Yep. That's going to be the harder thing. That's going to eat up more so the budget, most of the budget. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. Okay. So I've got this one up here. Uh, hit me with some other GMTs. This one's this one. The only problem I have with this is expensive. It's going to take up a lot of our budget. Yeah, we've got the Citizen Nighthawk. The only problem with that one is I already own it, so uh, I'm a little hesitant to pick up another one of those. Yeah, what other GMTs you guys got? Peter's got some good advice here. He says with a three watch collection, you don't want anything weird because you're going to be wearing them daily. If these are the only three watches you have, you want to maximize good. all of them and pick something that you're going to wear. I think that's yeah. solid advice. This is Matthew Tissot, which I don't know much about, but I've always been interested to check him out. It's like a Swiss uh, maker, but they're mostly Rolex homages. So this yeah. is a quartz uh, GMT Master homage, but nice looking one with the Jubilee bracelet. Okay, so Lucien Picard. That's an interesting one. This is an automatic. I'm pretty sure this has a seagull movement in it or some Chinese movement, which would be kind of the concern there. But it's a nice looking watch. You do get an automatic. Does it have a GMT hand or is it just the 24 hour dial? Yeah, it looks like it's independently settable. Like, so the main hand's pointing to 10, sub dial's pointing to what, like five? Looks like five, 10. I sent you a pretty interesting one by Joshua and Sons. Yeah, so another budget one. So that would mean that, so the thing, so if we go low on a GMT, that means we're sinking a lot of money into our colorful dial. Uh, Shane, you got any other GMTs you want to throw up there? Uh, there was that, not to bring up Invicta again, with that gold brown <laughs> dial, $73 world timer. 
Okay. If you yeah. want to just throw something cheap in there yeah, this one and then cool. put the rest into like try that's to get an it, automatic. So that's a brown dial. Yeah. That's a, that's a brown dial. It's a dual, it's a dual time. So that knocks out two of our categories yeah. and that frees up a lot of cash for a, anything we did we that. And it's, it's not a huge Invicta. It's a smaller Invicta. Yeah. It's, 36 does any of us really want that watch i'm really. interested <laughs> in it i'm interested in it i you know so, i but this it, is I, the problem I, when we, when when we put these watches in the collection we put these parameters on the collection and then we buy stuff that we don't actually want yeah but yeah getting yeah mark p getting close to 30 minutes we are that rob uh, yeah what do you guys what do you guys think about that uh invicta let, let me throw a let's let's throw this into a poll Let's let's put a poll up. All right, yay or nay on this Invicta that uh, Shane's got showing us here. So we've got that one. Any and any other suggestions? Help us out here, guys. GMTs. Someone suggested the nope. uh, Melbourne Watch Company Fitzroy, which is, that, is pricier, two eighty five, but it does look nice. Okay. All right, so I'm I'm obviously still partial to the Victorian Ox. Victorian Ox, yeah. Victorian. That was two twenty. I think. Ox. Let me see if I can pull that one back up again. Let me pull mine back up. This one. So two twenty eight. You get sapphire crystal, hundred meters. I like the design. Delano Scott. Big, how big is that one again? Forty two millimeters. Okay, so our field watch options that are not field watch, our GMT watches that we've got so far. We've got this Victorian Ox. Uh, we've got the Lucien Picard, not that one. We've got the Melbourne Watch Company for two eighty five. Getting up there, and then were there any other? One? There was just that uh, perpetual calendar one with the GMT function. We don't have a GMT. Mm -hmm. too. Where's okay? Yeah. Let's get that one back up again. Let's let's look. Let's give that one one more look. Aviation budget sports watch. Okay, so two thirty-two for the Seiko that has absolutely everything, including a GMT. Let's just get it. Let's get some feedback from the chat. We won't necessarily pick exactly the ones you guys uh, tell us to, but let's get a little feedback from you guys as we're trying to to do that. In the meantime, also be looking for colorful automatic watches. I think that's what would be the last thing we'd want to add in here. Would be automatic watch with like a green or brown or red dial so D dave i don't know if you noticed but in the chat uh, a gentleman by the name of greg is pretty passionate that we should be picking anything that's colorful and uh yeah just to to let you know greg one of the requirements is that one of the watches not be a standard black white blue dial so that's that's kind of the challenge behind this is not to pick three watches that we ourselves absolutely love, but to do it within certain parameters just to make it a little bit of fun. Now, whether it's fun or not, that's up to you to decide. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we put, the, we put this to a, a vote in the uh, in the beginning. But yeah, if you're starting, uh, if you're just going to have three watches, never buy any more watches, then maybe you do want to have three kind of pretty standard versatile watches. Okay, so the poll looks like they're they're siding with Alton here. They like this Seiko watch. Okay, forty five percent. Victorian Ox is in second place with thirty three. Um, let's go ahead, just just for now. Dave, it, we can't do the Victorian Ox because you're going to review it and you're going to say it wrong the whole review, and the comment section is going to go crazy. People will you lose what, their that's mind. That's part of my strategy. <laughs> I make mistakes like that. And I get so many comments, and it just like totally, uh, <laughs> totally boosts the video because YouTube's Works like, oh, the everybody's commenting on this video. Okay, so just just for now, I'm just throwing these in. We can't obviously get both of those. Um, okay, let me move that one. So if we go with the Seiko, that pushes up to 391. We'd have 110 bucks left, or 387. Basically, yeah, we got about 100. We need to find a third watch for 100 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Don't forget about that Nixon I showed you. Twenty nine ninety nine. So yeah, so Clinton here backing me on the Vic. Okay, someone else say it. Backing me on the Victoria Knox. Look, he look, he put an A in there. <laughs> Clinton, Clinton is spelling it your way now. <laughs> Thank you, Clinton. Okay. All right. So we've got. So yeah. So this is kind of looking like we need to find a uh, a colorful. Automatic. How about silver? 
Silver. Well, guy, that's, that's not silver. automatic, but I got something a little odd okay. in silver. All right, Hold pop up. it up. Let's see what you got. Okay, all right. It's got green on the dial too. Silver dial, <laughs> Incredible Hulk, Marvel. Yeah, I feel like down in that price range, for an automatic, I feel like Pro Diver would be our best. But probably Pro Diver. It's a, a really red one. Yeah, there's that one. What size is that though? So not all pro divers are forty. That is a forty. Yeah, see, I really like these ones. This is like if I could just get rid of that colorful requirement, I think this is yeah. perfect to pick up one of these. Maybe we'll we'll let's okay. This is kind of cheating. Can do, can we ask the the uh, the chat to take that one change. out and <laughs> say it's okay? We can just get rid of it and then have a nice. Because I, I, I think that would be a good. <laughs> I think that would be a good collection, right? One of those two GMTs, yeah, yeah. plus the Invicta Pro Diver, the kind of the classic looking one, and that Alpina Starter. I like all of those. It's an automatic. It's got a Seiko NH35. We get Coke. We could get Pepsi. We could get Batman. What do you guys think? So chat here, please help us out here. We've got a $500, $500 budget here. We kind of thought we'd have some fun and throw out these things. You guys locked us into getting something not blue or black or, yeah, or yeah, it's, all, it's all their fault <laughs> but it, it's, it's all take you pity can. on us please please if we can if we can just eliminate that last requirement we're going to wind up with one of these invicta pro divers which are well reviewed i haven't checked one out chain of all have you guys ever seen one of these in person uh not the retro <laughs> one i yeah. really wanted to check out this version yeah, me too yeah. so yeah all of us are kind of excited about this it's a it's a decent looking watch fits yeah. in our budget uh, and then we can still get either the Victorinox or the Seiko Chronograph. Um, we wind up with a collection with a, a Swiss watch, a Japanese watch, and an Invicta. Okay. Hey. hey. I made my go. Let me, let me put it to a poll. Yeah, remember, okay. it's the 40 millimeter Pro Diver with the Seiko okay, movement. So, We're not going for the giant, like, all right. the so bad Invicta. Rob, Rab has a good... Um, good uh thing yeah we got to do a dare if we change a the dare I don't know, what, I don't know. who's gonna dare us what are you, are you guys gonna dare us what are you guys gonna dare us to do average joe i like that it's your show you can do anything you want plus it's your money good good call <laughs> we have to buy three nixons in each review though <laughs> and i'll launch them on the same day uh okay all right the chat is being very gracious we yeah. have 43 votes telling us that we can do that so coke okay. or, Pepsi, or coke or batman yeah coke batman or pepsi oh what's this is that an orange that's interesting it's kind of cool actually invicta 1953 batman is definitely winning in the chat there are so many pro divers oh look they have a green one too that's oh, like they got a lot of different colors on this now Okay, so what do we got? Okay, so they have an orange dial, or orange bezel one, apparently, which is interesting. We've got a Batman classic. Green dial one. This is a 1953, they're calling it. Green is interesting. But yeah, they're all black dials. Okay, uh, Shane, Alton, what are your guys' favorite of those? Uh... Uh, I'm always partial to Batman, but I kind of like that green one, too. That green one looks kind of cool. I kind of like the Coke, and I'm usually a Batman guy. I know. I'm. I yeah. I, I say like... we let the chat pick. Chat Let's pick say... or roll your dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Get out my D20. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. What do you guys think? So for the pro divers, a uh, couple of different colorful bezel options, which kind of fits the theme, right? We we're supposed to pick something colorful. Halloween. Yeah. yeah. Halloween's coming up. Yeah. Average Joe with the orange. I like the orange. Sunny D all the way. But so far, early on, oh, it's close. Coke, Coke, Coke is in the lead. In the lead, still pretty close. But Coke is orange is close. close. Orange is second. Okay, well, we let that poll run. Let's revisit our GMT. So I think GMT options. Uh, Shane, what are your thoughts on this Seiko GMT? Uh, looks like a Salvador Dali painting, <laughs> or Salvador Dali, yeah. They're like the one with the melting clock. There's just a lot going on that dial. Um, but it's pretty much got everything you want. I think get it low down. if yeah. you get it and you review it, you have to record trying to figure out how to set it. And how long it takes you time it. <laughs> what was the other GMT we were looking at? The Victoria Knox. Victoria Knox. 
<laughs> We're going Seiko, just so I don't have to hear that again. I want to, uh, you know what? I like the Seiko, but I want to hear Dave's Victorinox video. So, yeah. And if you guys I mean, aren't too keen on the Seiko, I'm happy so to research on this. acquiesce like, to your uh, taste. There's a foreign language here. So the chat, chat prefers the uh, the Seiko. Let's get us Shane out of the uh, the Victorinox. Victorinox. Right, go Seiko. And the Seiko, you go with the Seiko over the Victorinox. Yeah. Okay, I think that settles it then. Okay, let's 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 lock that one in. We're out of time. Okay, we we'll take this one out. We're going Seiko. We got that. Chat is now looks like the uh, orange black Sunny D has pulled ahead barely. So it's a really close tie. Yeah. Um, so we've got Coke at thirty percent, Batman at thirty percent, and orange black Sunny D at thirty two percent. I like the orange black. What about you guys? You guys? Okay not with that, fan, <laughs> but if that's what they vote, I'm fine with it. I'm not a huge fan of it, but whatever. What if, if you guys are going to go between that and the Coke Batman? What what are your thoughts there? Because it's neck and neck in the chat. Okay, so Batman just yeah. just jumped up. Now it's tied. Now we're tied, Batman and Sunny D. <laughs> My concern with the Sunny D one is. That orange could be really neon. It could be really subtle. It's hard to say yeah, from the picture. Yeah. I go, I like the Coke better than the Batman. But, you know, Batman's not bad. I could go with Batman. I think the Coke just really, really pops with the gold kind of indices on it. Yeah, yeah, Coke like that. Then. yeah you know what? I think we're going to, I think me and uh, Alton, we're, our votes count as more votes than the chat's votes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I think we got it. Okay. What yeah. do we got? So we've got an Invicta Pro Diver with the Coke bezel. This is 1953. So this is our automatic. We have this Seiko chronograph that has like absolutely everything. And then we got this cool Alpina Star Timer Quartz. And we are at 479. Under so we're well under, I don't know, uh, yeah. even so like 20 bucks left to, to throw anything we can get. We can get. I'll give you 10 bucks. Top it up. We'll get that Nixon. Four watch collection. <laughs> Jump the. You know, I, I didn't think we would pull this off in the beginning, but I know I think we, we've we got a pretty time. cool three watch collection. Bit. But I like it. I, I I would be pretty happy with this three watch collection. I'm not 100 percent sold on that Seiko, but I I like I like the idea behind it, and that could be your dress watch. You know, throw it on a leather strap. I like all the functionality. Well, maybe that's your video. I didn't like this watch. But, but I took Alton a chance amazing. on Alton's suggestion, and I see how amazing it is, and Alton's always yeah, right. Alton is great, and you should all go subscribe to his channel. Here's a $20 watch. Wow. Okay. <laughs> hey, look at that. Lego, Star Wars, Darth Vader. Can't go wrong with that. Fits is it in budget. Lego? Okay. I don't know. I honestly would not want to wear this watch around town. But, uh, but we did bend the rules. Yeah. So yeah, I I don't know. I feel like this would make a good um, good challenge watch too. So maybe um, that'll be our punishment. We have to wear that watch for a day and post pictures of it on Instagram. Actually, I have to make a review of it. You have to review it. <laughs> All of us have Dude, to review it. Twenty like minute with review. The full B roll. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. All right, I like 18 it. Eighteen hour okay. video. Okay. Yeah. yeah. No full production. No uh, no corners cut. Everything Absolutely. you do, macro shots. I want macro <laughs> shots. I want everything. It's uh, classic. And and no explanation. Okay, <laughs> you cannot preface it with anything. That's going to be it. You guys in the chat who saw this video, you'll know why this is going to be showing up. Um, do us a favor and promote it. Um, so yeah, so the way this is going to work, uh, I all Joma Shop's going to be shipping all the watches to me. Um, I will then review them and then ship the ones to Shane and Alton. I'm going to ship the uh, the Star Wars watch uh, to Shane first because I think he should be able to get it to Alton easier than I yeah, can. Yeah. If I ship it to Canada, it's going to take five months. You know, they used to make really yeah, cool toys, okay. toy okay. watches for right, kids. Did you guys ever have one of those Transformers watches? Okay, so now we I have had like a one. sound wave. Look at that. Look at that. Puts us up to 499.38. There we go. Okay, so we are like right on there with that. Okay, so all Sounds right. Um, yeah, okay, sorry, sorry. So final thoughts on the collection. 
Shane, what, what do you think about this as a three watch collection? Is this something you'd be happy with? Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, wouldn't be was wasn't what I was thinking when we started, but I think it came <laughs> yeah, together I, I nicely. Yeah, yeah the Invicta Pro Diver is the only one that I really had on my list. Given the parameters, I think we did pretty well. I think this is a great four watch collection that we have here, gents. Yeah, would we would we consider the Lego Darth Vader? Is that like a beater watch? It's like you're out mowing the lawn and you put that one on. Go. go mow the lawn to, to get Darth a beating Vader. or to have a beat up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. work Although watch. I do like how his one eye is bigger than the other, like he's just kind of wigging out. I'm not really sure what's going on yeah. with that. Yeah, I don't know what's going. On. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. They, that looks Dave, like a pretty, pretty cheap. Dave, movement. Would, you, would you be willing to preach in that watch? No, we already agreed that the punishment is reviewing the watch. I don't. I don't have to wear it. You can change it up if you want. You have to wear it to oh, review come on. it. Dave. I'm already you like can't a, be that guy where you just get in and a foreign missionary who the the press the, release. Now you got to now you got to put me up in front of everybody wearing a Darth Vader watch. Come on, I'll wear it to church. No problem. Yeah. I'd yeah. wear it. I mean, I already got the little lightsaber. Right. Yeah. If I wasn't preaching, maybe. Shirt to wear with. I don't know. J Japan, they're they're more uptight about this kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, they're not they like are. They are. Back. Like yeah. I, I, I probably should be wearing a suit every week, but I don't because I'm from California. But every other pastor here wears a suit when they preach. But are you in sandals and a Birkenstocks? Well, uh, indoors we take off our shoes, so I actually have slippers mm -hmm. that are kind of Birkenstock like. I could wear Birkenstocks if I bought if I bought a pair of Birkenstocks and only use them indoors. Those would qualify as slippers, and I would be totally fine but that's actually a good idea because <laughs> in the winter it gets cold so i can wear socks and birkenstocks it'd be a great preaching nice. shoe great preaching slippers all right to wrap this up um shane all what do you guys got going on your channel anything interesting anything you want to talk about before we go how's your uh you, you, all you're getting close to two thousand subs now I am. I'm begging people in the chat to follow me so I can get up to the 2,000 people subs. In the chat, if you guys can all go subscribe to Alton, I think I put a link to his channel in the description of this video. You can go check that out. Right on. Yeah, um, I just got that Citizen Watch coming up. I've been kind of taking it easy this summer with videos, one every three weeks or so, but the fun times are going to come to an end and the videos are going to start cranking out again in the fall. Yeah, crack that whip. Mm-hmm. Shane, Gotta make that three dollars per video. Yeah, it's good motivation there. Yeah, we feel your pain. <laughs> <laughs> we've been, we've been there. Been there. <laughs> not much, not back much back. better. <laughs> what? Did you get a nice? You look a little. You look a little. Uh, little tanner than usual. Uh, should be a little bit. Mm -hmm. Lots of time in the sun. It was hot in the Caribbean, but started. Uh, it's eight day cruise, so got a little bit stir crazy. Maybe the last day of coming home, but good to be home. Took me a little while to get back in the habit of making videos. Like I wow. was planning to maybe get two out this week, and I got one eventually done. I think I just released today, so slowly getting back into it. Right. Yeah, I uh, I took a trip to the U.S. this summer, so that was fun. But yeah, I'm still kind of I well, we got back about a month and a half ago, but I feel like I'm still kind of slowly easing back into things. Uh, my mm -hmm. schedule's been. Oh, I got new shirts. Go go buy the shirt. Plug for my merch. Uh, yeah, so that's the new Casio Royale design available at justthewatch.com. Check that out. Um, yeah, and finally, to close out, again, thanks to Joma Shop for sponsoring this. This was really uh, a fun challenge, and thank you guys for all of your suggestions. I think with your help in the polls, we got, yeah, we wound up with a pretty cool collection. I'm looking forward to reviewing it. Uh, looking forward to seeing these watches on relative time and half past vlog, so they will get shipped around for additional reviews. Yeah. All yeah. right. Uh, thank you guys all for watching. Again, thanks to Joe Shop for sponsoring. Uh, yeah, there will be more videos on this challenge, especially mm -hmm. the Darth Vader watch, which we're all looking forward. I can't wait to see this in macro. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's going to be glorious. Let me close this down. But that will wrap it up for today. Uh, we'll see you guys all next time. Thanks, thanks everybody. Dave. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Shane. See you guys. <laughs>